What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. I want to talk about SPS and why I think we need an SPS burning event. And I don't mean to actually burn SPS. What I, I I have a little bit of a different idea here. But let's let's just recap real quick and talk about this upcoming potential burn event for a promo card for the Bitcoin having. Now the team is trying to get it done in a way where we have you know they they're able to get some value from the DAO and then we burn it on a DEC and have that value indirectly go into SPS because we, we will probably need to burn some SPS for the DEC. But one of the reasons why I'm so focused, not so much on DEC as an indirect source, but going direct to the source, right, for SPS, is because of the fact that we, we just have such a huge supply considering where the player base is now. And if there's talks about trying to get to 10 cents before the uh, we're able to get on a major exchange or before marketing and all this stuff, I'm trying to figure out ways in which we could make this uh, doable, right, uh, with the people that we have. And so I'm looking at the amount of SPS we have, right, 1.2 billion right now. And I'm thinking to myself, why don't we do it this way? And and, and again, I know the the current promo card is kind of set in stone. They're going to do that for uh, for probably Q2. Uh, whether whether we do the the proposal or not, the team is planning to sell one and they probably have the infrastructure made. But I'm almost thinking the DAO can commission something for Q3, right, as part of the promo cards and maybe even work directly with the team, similar to what we had for Vruz. Now, we know that the team wants to put out promo cards later on in the year. So my thought is, you know, let's let's figure out the rate. If it's 200,000, let's pay the team to put this infrastructure in place. And then instead of burning DEC, or instead of burning SPS, we actually take that SPS and lock it up in the DAO. And the way I think we should go about doing that is set a price for these promo cards in SPS, meaning they cost X amount of SPS. It doesn't matter what the dollar value of SPS is at the time. We just take this SPS, we lock it up in the DAO, and it doesn't come out until we say so. And, you know, again, it would have to be, I don't know what kind of card it would be. I don't know how much SPS it would cost. This is something that the team could determine, right, as we get close and try to figure out what, what makes the most sense in terms of how much the cost is per BCX versus previous and how that should translate out to SPS, right? And hopefully there will be a rise in SPS token at that point in time, but... At the end of the day, even if not, a lot of folks are sitting on SPS, and I know people may not want to part with it, but they they may, right? They may take whatever they earn or whatever you know rewards come their way and use that as a way to uh, to purchase the promo cards. And the other reason for this is it's not just a one-time thing. I do believe that, yes, in, in the short run, it can be very helpful to lock up a lot more of the extra. And again, I know I hear people talking a lot about, yeah, and shout out, shout out to IC Flow, right? But people talking about, oh, we need an SPS having, we need an SPS like to stop the inflation. Yeah, that's fine. We're doing things and hopefully we'll do more things to stop the inflation. But there's just so much supply out there that we need to find something to do with it now if new players aren't going to come in and soak it all up. So that's why I'm thinking twofold, right? We get to do that now. And then the second part is that we can try to make this into something that's ongoing. Now, it, it can be more ad hoc where it's not regularly scheduled. And it could be something where whenever the team has a promo card and it's not about, you know, burning DEC or DEC is in a good place, we can use SPS in that time. And the reason I'm, I'm much more uh, in favor of something like this is because people are very worried about what happens to the rewards once the S once the distribution phase is over, once SPS is no longer being minted. And in this way, every so often we can have the DAO trade some value to the team in order to lock up more SPS that it is able to pay out in future rewards. So what do the numbers look like? I, I don't know. I haven't I haven't run anything specifically yet, but just thinking through, you know, how much value could be put into the DAO in terms of SPS tokens, like the quantity overall. Uh, in the long run, to me, that helps to secure the future. And 
you know, I, I, I kind of sometimes kind of joke that we don't really even need DEC anymore, right? But uh, I'm going to get off that train for right now and just think through like, okay, these could be just ad hoc events that we do every once in a while that are able to lock up more SPS in the Dow. And it gives the Dow this kind of longevity by being able to work with the team and turn, you know, turn that SPS around and continue funding rewards. So, Again, just in the spirit of the fact that we have a potential burn event and promo card, uh, you know, event coming up, this is just a thought process or, you know, just an idea for future events, maybe Q3, maybe Q4. Uh, but obviously with the the pain that everybody's feeling now about SPS and, you know, dipping below two cents once again, my, I, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out ways in which we can soak up the supply. Cause it's not just about the inflation, even though we talk about the inflation quite a bit, it is also about the massive supply that is out there. And if DEC, if, if the DEC demand is not burning enough SPS, and I, I would argue that it's not, obviously, right? Uh, then, and, and that also gets diminished the higher SPS goes. So we need some direct utility for SPS in these ways. Now, granted, hopefully we will have more direct utility with things like Soul Keep coming out, maybe we'll land in the future. That's why I'm saying this doesn't need to be something regular. But at this point in time, I think it would have been cool to do almost like a Ruse 2.0 where you pay the team to set this up and instead of burning DEC, uh, we we burn, uh, not burn, but we lock up a ton of SPS in the Dow. But again, that's just my thought process so that we can continue funding things in the future as well as fixing the oversupply in the economy now. We did a fantastic job of fixing the DEC oversupply, but I don't think people realize how bad of an SPS oversupply there is for the current player base. And yes, the obvious solution will be to add more players, but tell me how to do that when the token value is down, when the asset prices are down. We need to find ways to be able to do that on our own. We did it with DEC. I think we can do it with SPS. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.